Right, uh, over at Hutton now. Came on the number five bus very close to where I live. Got off in Hutton Village. Took about, say, 15 minutes to get here. It had to weave around a few sort of bungalows and stuff. And then it came and stopped by Church Lane, this end of Hutton, western end of Hutton. Because there's a Church Lane, the other end, where you walk up and then by the school and then you get to the church but I haven't done the church I've just taken a picture of from a distance um I, I just planned to do a slightly different route today because I hadn't been up this this end of church lane and uh anyway there's western over there I can see steep home island and bring down over there I've I don't think I've done it's about two years. I might have done this walk last year. I do tend to fit it in when I can. If I'm going to walk over to lock in, then I tend to do this walk. I was going to do it in reverse today, but I didn't. wasn't quite sure where the bus stops. So basically, now I know there's a bus stop either end of the village. Someone tried to... God, they were taking me on this tour around the village and saying this road and that nursing home. I thought, I ain't going to remember any of that. I just want to know, does the bus stop on the main road going into the village? That's all I wanted to know. And they went on. Oh, well, you can stop by so and so's nursing home. Then it goes down Orchard Close. Then it goes round a bit to Moors. Then I thought, I won't remember none of that. I don't need to know any of that. But people are trying to help. This is always quite overgrown, and I've been here when it's been overridden with spiders. Um, don't look too bad at the moment, but further up there's always a bit of a spidery area. Well, it's very overgrown. Um, lots of history here, I expect. I wouldn't be surprised there hadn't been some sort of settlement in this little indentation here once, with views out. You can imagine a little cottage here. Uh, I always mean to keep looking up the history of Hutton Woods, and I always forget. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I climb up, of course. There's always a climb up wherever I am. There's a climb up. And, uh, at the top of here, there's a golf course. Now, the day before yesterday, I did a Crook's Peak walk and I came back as far as Bleeden and then caught the bus because I'd already done a big hike and I, I deliberately did that so that I could come back today and do the other part of the walk that I sometimes all, do all on the one day when I come from Crook's Peak, which I'm doing a bit more today doing Hutton Woods. But basically, I want to go down um, the steep coombe, down to the big um, apple orchard farm area, and then down towards the River Axe uh, Basin, and then walk along till I come to Bleeden, walk up a couple of... Uh, fields, uh, hopefully cow free, but um, the reason I have also diverted the other day is I, I'd done a lot of walking and I really didn't want an end of the walk having to do a lot of diversions from cows. Now today this will be quite a short walk really. This is the biggest part of the hill to go up, what I'm doing at the start. It's always good to do now, if I'd done it reverse, I would have had a lot of hills. Um, yeah, there would have been a lot of hills to do if I'd done it from the start the other way, from uphill. Well, I've put my washing out. I hope it don't rain, but it is protected to a certain extent, my washing.
It's quite cool in here, but it's very damp. It's very humid today. Um, they're supposed to be cloudy all day. Light wind, heart or no wind. Uh, it doesn't say about rain, but there could be the odd sprinkling. We've got a lot of rain forecast for next week, hence the urgency to get out doing a lot of walks close together um, because we could have five days of rain. I don't really go out in the rain as such because I buy what's called waterproof clothes. The trousers are usually all right, but I never find the jackets are foolproof or they're too heavy for the summer. I, all I've got on me in is a light windshield and a light top to cover me head if the sun does come out. I didn't bring my new hat. It does weigh a bit, actually. I just tried to cut down on weight. It's the water that I have to carry that in the summer. You have to carry a lot of water. You do, really. Mind you, I filled up my big bottle the other day, and I never had to use it. I had timed it right with the amount of water I'd... Today, though, I'm, I'm half a... Uh, um, no, not a half a pint. Probably a beaker's worth of water down because I haven't bought a bottle of fruit juice today. But I've got two oranges. Like I said, it's quite a steep climb, so people might think, can't you slow? I'm going, I'm going uphill. Look, carrying a heavy rucksack full of water and food. Years ago, I wouldn't, I would have been three stone lighter. I would have run up here. But times change. I always say, don't have to watch me videos. If you want to watch a 20-year-old doing it, watch them. You won't find many doing it, though. Now, there's a funny insect. I wonder if that's a biter. You see that there? There's a possibility that that's a nasty biter of humans. And he got away. It could be a type of horsefly. That is the problem. I have put some insect repellent on, but I haven't put it on. I didn't put it on my face. I've put a little bit on my legs, hoping that they might just leave me alone. But you see, this being damp, it will encourage these horseflies and things, these biters. <sighs> Looks like around the jungle because it's so damp. I don't often video going uphill, but sometimes I like people to know that I do do it. And it's not. I mean, I've got wind. I cut some shorts off. They were good trousers, actually. I thought they were my old ones. About a year ago, I cut them off to, to make them shorts. And they were good ones. But they're really for the winter. They're quite thick, so I'd washed all my others out and they're still on the line. I haven't got a tumble dryer. And I wasn't gonna wear what I call my best uh oh God, there's bloody webs everywhere out here. I oh know I've got to put the stick in front. This is, if you're going to get bitten, this is one of the paths you get bitten. Now that bloody insect's been following me for ages. They can smell the sweat. I've still got a bit of a wipe left to top up if necessary around the neck. Right, I'm going to turn off, take some pictures now. Bye.